Ball is much improved. Also throws a uh, cutter, slider, changeup. And he said his command looks like he's going to be a lot better this year. A ball and two strikes. Line toward right. Kalidow did all he could do with that, and he held him to a single. So he's making a comeback here tonight. A mile high pop up. And Kalidow waves off the second baseman, Acton, to retire the side. On the mound tonight for the Thundering Herd, you get a look at the six foot two, Wade Martin. Came in in January, what would have been his senior year in high school. In the hole, it's short. Blanton wisely holds on to it. Yeah, they usually do. And he got him. But the pitchers necessarily no. like it. <laughs> and there's ball four. One ball, one strike. And that ball lined in the center field. Craig Bell, the veteran third base coach, sending home Fabian. He will score. And Kendrick Kalilau with a big two out RBI. And the Gators lead one to nothing. And he got him. Oops. The Marshall right fielder. Freshman from San Antonio. And Tommy Mace makes quick work of Billups. And, and he'll make a quick U-turn back to the dugout as well. Connell was that guy. On the outside corner for a call, strike three. 73 two years ago. And he chased one there and another strikeout for Tommy Mace. Yeah. Hit sharply back up the middle for a base hit. There he goes. Greenfield's throw is a little high and a little late. Strike on Edwards. Hit sharply and off the heel of McMullen's glove. This will bring in a tying run. Edwards cruising into second base. One two pitch. Could be a tough one. McMullen in. Great play and a great stretch by Armstrong. Kirby McMullen. First pitch hitting in the gap in left center field. McMullen around first. And he'll have a walk in double. That's up the middle. That's a base hit for Acton. Lars Davis sending home McMullen. Well, there goes the runner. Had a walking lead and then just took off, but all for naught. And he got him in as many innings for Mace. And Jordan Billups has one on the ground in the hole at shortstop. Here's Josh Rivera. And not in time. Didn't quite get enough on that ball. So Ball blooped to left, and it's going to be a fair ball. Gardner with a little fillet down the left field line. However, and he chased and got him a three-pitch strikeout, and perhaps the biggest strikeout of the night for Tommy Mace. I think he's a 20-year-old freshman. On the line, there's his first. Gators hit. Yeah. And chased one for strike three. That's a ball. Greenfield got all. And it one hops the wall. Hickey being waved home. And Cal Greenfield has a two out RBI double. And that's a solid base hit to the left. Greenfield going to be brought in when the left fielder Lovely bobbles the ball and Fabian takes advantage and stretches it to a second base. Not the Marshall starter, Wade Martin, and there you get a look at the bullpenner Robert Kwiatkowski coming on. And a five-pitch walk and then a double in the third. 
and goes after the first pitch right here. Maybe a little bit too aggressive. Jumped on it and lovely there to make the catch to retire the Gators. Didn't even put my coat on. That's right. <laughs> Ball driven past Langworthy. Going to one hop the wall. Blanton back to back hits. Here's a pickoff throw sailing into center field. And then booted by Fabian. And they're going to send Blanton. And then the throw hits the mound. So nothing went right for the Gators. It must have been called by the catcher because Mace was looking straight into Cal Greenfield to send them home. That ball hit sharply past McMullen. And he's going to try for two. And he'll make it safely. And now he draws the two, or the uh, the walk. He hasn't touched the ball tonight. And that's a very big strikeout of the cleanup hitter for out number two. McMullen has a play right in front of him on the bag to force out Edwards. Offense. Strike three called on the inside corner. The Gators go in order. Sam Linscott lines a base hit to left. The herd have now out hit the Gators tonight. Garrison one and two in every at bat. There's one right off the fist. McMullen. He's played flawlessly tonight at third base for the Gators. Cal Greenfield are the scheduled hitters against Robert Kwiatkowski. Who uh, has now been taken down as the herd come with a new hurler here on the inning? That's a look at Mark Meyer. That ball is hit well to left field on the line, and it is gone. Rivera with a rope to left. The Gators' first home run of 2020. This ball is crushed as he ambushes a fastball. Wait, staying back. It barrels this thing up. It took almost a row of seats out over there. Look out. Speck coming on in relief of Tommy Mays. Yeah, just another Gator pitcher with a very good arm. Fastball could get it up there as high as 94. And got him. Arkansas picked the win over there. Mississippi State second, and then Auburn with LSU in a tie for third. Corey Acton steps in and has a ball hit in the hole. Right side, base hit for Acton, and the Gators with runners at first and second. Him. Ground ball hit the third. Hootzel. On to Edwards, and the ball skips away from Inskeep. And the Gators get a run. And a base hit to right for Hickey. He's got his second hit. There's a ball hit deep to right, and it is gone. You. Oh yeah, he did. What? Watch this. Gets the foot down, then the hands are gonna come, and all kinds of power for this big man. Gators with four runs on three hits so far here in the seventh. As Brian Callaly comes on to pitch now for Marshall. Seven two out hits in 13 at bats. And that'll take care of the Gators in the seventh. Preseason favorite, FAU picked second, and Louisiana Tech picked third. I do. He goes, huh? oh, he says, I love Billy Donovan. This is a guy who worked in the hotel in Oxford, Mississippi. And Billy's been out of the league five years. All this year, third base. <laughs> and that's it for the Gators in the eighth inning. 
His dad, a great putter for the Gators back in the 90s, Shane Edge. Rivera throws out Lynn Scott on the pinch hitter, Jodway. Beautiful breaking ball and two out here in the ninth inning. Little blooper, and that's it. The Gators retire the final 11 Marshall hitters as the Gators score a big opening night victory here on the final opening night at McKeithen Stadium.